Hi and welcome to Data Coder. In this video, I am going to discuss how to create a SAS dataset from raw data file and we will also discuss the concept of input buffer and program data vector or PDV while uh, creating a SAS dataset from raw data file. So if this is your first time, then please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos on base and advanced SAS programming. Let's get started. We can read a raw data file by three different methods to create a SAS dataset. And let's uh, discuss all of these methods one by one. So the first method is column input method. By applying column input method, we can read a standard character and numeric data, which is in fixed columns. If the data is standard and it's in fixed columns, then we can read that data by applying this column input method and we can create a SAS data set. Next method is formatted input. Using formatted input method, we can read both standard and non-standard data, which is in fixed columns. And the last method is list input method. By applying list input method, we can uh, read standard and non-standard character and numeric data which uh, where the data are separated by delimiter. So these are the three methods and let's see what is a standard data and what is a non-standard data. So first see what is standard data. Standard data is something which SAS can read without any help of informant. Okay. If the data uh, you know, uh, if the data has uh, no format and we didn't apply any format to the data, then SAS can read that data, you know, without using any in format. That is called standard data. Uh, so mostly the character data are standard data. Here is the example. This is a standard character data and this is a standard numeric data. So here we didn't use any format in the data. That's why it's called standard data. And while uh, reading those data, SAS will read it without using any in format. Okay. Next is non-standard data. So the non-standard data are, you know, generally they, those are the formatted uh, data. So to read the formatted data, we need to use in format. So that's why it's called non-standard data. So here is the example. This is a uh, numeric non-standard data. And here if you see, there is a comma over here. That means in the data, we have used a format. Okay. So if you, we want to read this data uh, into SAS, then we need to apply the in format. And here also if you see, this is the example of uh, non-standard data. This is a date and SAS will store date as a number. But here we are, you know, seeing this date as a date value first, 1960 instead of number. So we have applied some format to the number uh, and because of that, uh, instead of number, we are seeing this as a date. So if we want to read those data into SAS, then we need to apply some in format. In my previous video, I have discussed about formats, how to create format and how to apply format to a variable, which is the display of the value. So please go through those uh, videos and it will be easy to understand. Okay. So this is about, you know, standard and non-standard data. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss the column input method where we are going to read standard data uh, which is in fixed column. Okay. So let me show you the data, uh, input file which I want to read. So this is my input file. Okay. This is the file name is employee and it's, uh, you know, it's stored in a uh, notepad or word pad. And this data we are going to read and we are going to create a SAS data set. And to read this data, we have a specification over here, how to read this data. And there is a specification for each variable. So there are four variables and here it's, uh, you know, it's mentioned uh, when the variable, you know, uh, will start and when it will end. So the, for the IT variable, the starting position is one and ending position is 4. So from 1 to 4, this, uh, you know, value will be in the ID. 
and this is a character variable that's why there is a dollar sign for numeric variable we don't have any dollar sign before the uh, you know variable uh, specification so from this data we need to create four uh, variables based on the specification and here uh, we are going to consider all data as a standard data and the uh, you know lengths are fixed the column lengths are fixed that means from starting from first position till fourth position it will be it and in the fifth position it will be sex and after that there is a certain position where the uh, date value will be captured and the salary uh, value so the column uh, lengths are fixed and we are going to read this data as a standard data using column input method so let's see how can we do that so uh, in the column input method we need to uh, you know follow these steps to create a such data set so the first step is uh, you know we need to write a data statement to create a such data set next is the in file statement and in the in file statement we need to mention the location where our input file is present and we need to also mention the file name and the you know extension of, of the file next is the input statement in the input statement we need to describe how to read the data fields from the raw data file so we need to mention the variable names we need to mention the variable type either it's we want to create the variable as a character or numeric and we need to also mention the starting position and ending position for that variable so these three steps we need to follow for the column input and this is a uh, you know syntax first step we need to write the data statement next is the in file statement and in the last it will be the input statement where we will uh, mention the variable details so let's go to sas and uh, you know see uh, see how can, how we can code this so first step we need to create a data statement so i have written data and here i need to mention what is the data set name I want to create? So I want to create the data set test. So I have given data test. So here I am creating a temporary data set. So I didn't mention any library name. If you want to create a permanent data set, then you need to uh, create a permanent library first. And uh, you need to mention that library name dot data set name. So this is my first step. And in the second step, I need to give the in file statement in file and inside this in file uh, statement i need to mention my data set location so my data set is present over here so i'll copy this location and paste it over here this is the location and i need to also give the data set name and the extension so this employee is the data set name and it's stored uh, as a dot dat format so let's go over here data set name uh, input file name is employee dot dat so this is my uh, you know uh, second step and in the third step i need to mention the variable details in the input statement so i'll write the input statement input and here i need to mention all the variable as per this specification so i'm copying this from here so my first variable is id and it's a character variable so dollar sign is given and it will start from the first position till fourth position next variable sex and it's a one character and the fifth character will be there and it's a character variable next is doj or date of joining it's a uh, you know uh, it's a date value but here we are not going to read this as a date instead we are going to read this as a uh, character okay because if we'll read this date as a date then it will store as a number but here we are going to read this as a text that's why we are considering this as a standard data and the next last uh, variable is salary where it will start from the 15th position till 20th position and it's a numeric variable that's why we didn't give any uh, no dollar sign so that's why i have mentioned four variable details and i will uh, close this data step by writing a run statement so i have created this uh, you know uh, program now if i'll execute this program and let's go to log 
four records has been created and four uh, you know four records has been read from the input file and uh, four observations and four variables are created in the test data set let's open the test data set so this is my data set this was my input file and from this input file i have created this data set and by using column input method and here this date we have read as a text we didn't read this date as a date so that's why it's called we consider this as a standard data and in formatted input we are going to read this uh, date as a you know number by applying some informer where uh, so that's why in the formatted input method we can read both standard and non standard data so this is how we have created uh, the you know data set from the input file so now let's see what happened in the you know uh, back end how this uh, how sas processed this so here we are going to learn the uh, concept of uh, input buffer and the concept of pdb or program data vector so let's see how sas will uh, you know do this so uh, this uh, first we will see the input buffer so in the input buffer sas will create a random memory location where it will hold the records or you know uh, observations from the input file so first uh, let me uh, create this so it will create a uh, input uh, buffer so it will create a random memory location and it will uh, you know assign the number to is like one then two it will create like this again it will start from 1 till 0 it will create this random uh, you know location and then it's going to hold my uh, record from the input file so how it will store it will store one record in each cell so this is my input file so 1124 then mail 1 1 2 4 then mail then So like this it's going to hold this complete record okay and this is called input buffer okay where it will uh, hold my input data set records and this will create when we uh, read a raw data file and uh, create a SAS data set and this will happen during the compilation phase so when we create a SAS data set there will be a compilation phase and there will be execution phase so this operation will be performed in the compilation phase okay so this is called input buffer next we will go to the pdv in the pdv it's going to create the descriptor portion of the sas data set and it's going to create the observation for our output data set so first it will uh, it's going to create the descriptor portion of the sas data set so now here it's going to uh, read each variable from the input data set so the id it's a character type and its length is 4 from 1 to 4 its length is 4 so what it will do it will create a variable id and it's a character so dollar sign will be there and the length will be 4 the next variable it will create is a uh, variable name is sex and it's a character type so dollar is there and length is 1 the next variable it will create is the date of joining and it's a uh, character type and the length is 9 and the next it will create the salary variable which is a numeric type so the default length will be 8 for this so this is how it created the descriptor portion of the uh, you know data set by uh, reading the input statement and now it's going to read data from the input buffer uh, to create the uh, you know observation in the output data set let's see 
So now this uh, descriptor person is created. Now it's going to read the data. So now ID, it will create the first variable ID, which is the fourth uh, length is four. So from the first position, it will start reading till fourth position. And whatever the data, it's going to put in ID one one two four. That then it's going to read the second va uh, variable which is sex which is in fifth position. So from the fifth position, so it's going to read as per this specification. In the fifth position, it will take one character which is male. Then the date of joining, the date of joining will be DOJ. It will start from sixth position till fourteenth position. So it will start from the sixth position and till fourteenth position will it will go and it will uh, you know put that in the DOJ field. Next is the salary. Salary it will start reading from the fifteenth position till twentieth position, and it will give it over here. So now this first uh, observation for my output data set is has been created. So it will create the first observation in the output data set, and there will be automatic return happen, and it's going to read the second uh, record from the input data set to create the Second observation in my output data set. Okay, and that's how it's going to read each variable. It's going to read each observation from my input data set and create the observation in the output data set. So this is input buffer. Input buffer will hold the records from input data set, and PDB will create the descriptor portion of the data set by reading the input statement. And create the observation for the output data set. So this is how PDB and input buffer work. And this uh, this will happen in the compilation phase. So uh, that's all about uh, you know how to uh, read a raw data file and create a SAS data set using uh, uh, you know column input method. And in the upcoming videos, we are going to see how to uh, you know read standard and non-standard data, and we'll see the uh, you know another method called formatted input and list input to read the data set. So stay tuned and happy coding.